probably 80% of us are deficient or insufficient, and that leads to depression, it leads to increased for Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, cancer, so many different things. And I think, you know, there's been mixed data about we're placing it, fixing it or not. And I think it's complicated because when you're like, you know, people are eating, you know, garbage and they throw vitamin D in there, it's not going to help. Them. Yes, correct. <laughs> you know, if they're not exercising, they're smoking, they're drinking a lot, they're not, ex they're, they're eating crap. You take a vitamin D, it's not going to do anything. But if in, in all things being equal, people who are low in vitamin D have higher risk of this. And if you clean up your lifestyle and you're still low in vitamin D, it'll make a big difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you brought up context because one thing that, that f very few people know, you could be spending as much time in the sun as you want, frolicking all day, you know, in the, in, the, in the beautiful warming rays of the sun or even supplementing with vitamin D. But if you're not getting adequate magnesium in your diet, which 50% of the population does not get no, adequate true. magnesium, the enzymes that convert the vitamin D that your skin creates into its act, active hormone form in the body, all are magnesium dependent. Yeah. And magnesium, half of us don't consume adequate magnesium. It's found in dark leafy greens, pumpkin seeds, dark chocolate almonds. Yeah. And, it's and, and a lot of things cause us to lose magnesium, stress, coffee, alcohol, yeah. sugar, cap, you know, all, all those things we love. Exactly. Magnesium is like an anti-aging, you know, it's a, it's a macro mineral. We don't consume enough of it. And uh, it's involved in all of the DNA repair enzymes. We we're talking a little bit about DNA damage. They all require magnesium as a cofactor.